The Customs and Excise Department joins counterparts around the world in observance of World Customs Day on January 26, 2023. The theme for this year's observance is nurturing the next generation, promoting a culture of knowledge, sharing and professional pride in customs. Senior Customs Officer Sarah Arlett Marshall outlined the activities planned in observance of World Customs Day. So on that day, we, going, we are going to have an exhibition at Constitution Park, um, sensitizing and, and creating an awareness of our roles and functions, um, the roles and functions of the Customs Department. And also we're going to have our networking agencies such as uh, Ministry of Agriculture and the Ministry of Fisheries to explain their role um, to the members of the public. An awards and dinner night to recognize and honor retirees of the Customs Department will also form part of the observance as well as a cultural and games night to build camaraderie. Um, we also want to have a fishing night in the south because we have customs in the south and customs in the north. So we want to incorporate everybody in what we do promoting that theme. Acting Comptroller of Customs, Schumann Emanuel, emphasized the critical role the Customs and Excise Department performs within the country to ensure border security, revenue collection and trade facilitation. Apart from Customs being the largest revenue earner for the government of St. Lucia, he said greater attention is being placed on modernizing and digitizing of cargo and passenger information systems in an effort to secure the island's ports. The department is moving towards deploying more non-intrusive inspection methods and technology to screen cargo in order to combat illicit trafficking in small arms and light weapons and narcotics. We are well aware of the social developmental impact of the inflows of illicit weapons and narcotics. In this regard, we commence the X-ray screening of cargo at our main transit shed where we receive the highest volume of cargo, that is at uh, Port Castries. We also have an X-ray screening program at the ferry terminal and also at our main post office. We are expecting to have installed more X-ray equipment and tools in the short to medium term at all commercial ports of entry. We are also deploying other measures in collaboration with other agencies for bolstering our border security. The Customs and Excise Department has a complement of over 200 staff, 190 of which are customs officers. The Acting Comptroller has called for the support, cooperation and collaboration of partner agencies, the trading community and the general public as the Customs Department strives to improve its service delivery and overall productivity. The St. Lucia Customs and Excise Department is your department and remains committed to serving you. The World Customs Organization, WCO, encourages member organizations to conduct activities throughout the year in alignment with the theme for World Customs Day 2023. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.